Hello there. Uh, my name is Dr. Robert Thatcher. I'm the CEO and founder of Applied Neuroscience Incorporated. This year, we are proud to be uh, gold sponsors at the ISNR virtual conference. This is a landing page for AppliedNeuroscience.com, uh, www.AppliedNeuroscience.com. It allows you to evaluate a lot of important information, including being able to download a free NeuroGuide demo and to also look at uh, YouTube videos, webinars, workshop videos, scientific articles, and information about the National Library of Medicine's vast scientific library on brain and behavior linkages, as well as how NeuroGuide interfaces with 45 different amplifiers, as well as a list of some of the universities and institutions, medical, um, medical centers, as well as VA medical centers and <clears throat> military bases. This is a menu on the variety of neurofeedback products from one to 19 channel uh, surface neurofeedback to uh, S. Loretta Z score neurofeedback and then S. W. Loretta, which is standardized weighted Loretta and has over 12,000 voxels and much higher resolution uh, than uh, at just S. Loretta, as well as brain computer interface through the brain surfer and other information in there, including testimonials. One can order these, any of these products online uh, and learn more as what, by going to the services menu to get mentoring, uh, expert clinical report services, their guide workshops that are available around the country in various places, and educational uh, scholarships. So I uh, encourage everybody to go to that, this web page. I'm going to bring up NeuroGuide now as the uh, core program by which one evaluates patient symptoms and links them to the patient's uh, brain. This is the uh, way that you can put together conventional EEG on the left here that you see with the EEG traces, the squiggles, and quantitative EEG on the right that does quantification. That's where the Q comes from, the QEG. Q stands for quantification. Eyeball non-quantified EEG is the examination of the squiggles uh, here on the left, which you need to do both always to make sure that you have good quality data and do not select artifact. And there's a variety of tools in here to get rid of any, any artifact and always select artifact free data. I'm not going to go through the details of this program because those will be covered in other places uh, on the, this, for this workshop and, and uh, for, the, for ISNR meeting as well as uh, on our YouTube videos and other places. But you can, after you do an assessment, activate neurofeedback programs here by clicking a, a collection. And you can do brain computer interfaces. You can do uh, neurofeedback of a variety of different types. You can also do real-time surface maps, a real-time neuronavigator, which I'll show in a minute. Create montages. You can do analyses such as Loretta and S. Loretta, but also the neuronavigator. You can create a automatic clinic report in about two minutes and generate maps and also create a symptom checklist match that you then send to your neurofeedback program to link patient symptoms to dysregulation in the patient's HUDs and brain networks related to those symptoms as well as statistical programs of, of a variety of type to look at pre and post treatment changes. And of course, there's always a NeuroGuide manual that has tutorials and a lot of important information in it. I'm going to now switch over to the NeuroNavigator. This is this patient who is paralyzed on the left <clears throat> and has uh, spatial neglect, does not shave the left side of his face because he was assaulted in the right parietal lobe as he's walking home from one of his businesses. He was a very bright uh, uh, entrepreneur, had two businesses, and unfortunately was assaulted. The slices you see here uh, are... Uh, from the National Institutes of Health and the Montreal Neurological Institute. I'm going to remove the scalp so you can see the, the networks and the uh, cortex. And you can change the colors and scaling and intensity and transparency. Uh, this is a 12,700 voxel MRI. As I mentioned, the neuronavigator using SW Loretta uh, is able to calculate uh, current densities from each of these voxels. And you, you can navigate through them as you wish. I have selected the uh, dorsal attention network, and one can remove the cortex to get a little better view of the networks and the hubs. 
uh, each of the network hubs are actually Brahman areas that you can identify by a, a mouse click. And uh, there's a variety of different um, types of uh, connectivity, including lag coherence, phase differences, information flow. And we can also uh, evaluate the connectome, which is an important uh, advantage, advance actually in the second decade of the human brain mapping program, a couple billion dollars went into it. So it's here available as well. And we can look at other symptoms and networks. For example, uh, we can look at the Parkinson's uh, network and, and look at and evaluate the, the move the head model, the cerebellum, and both in three dimensions or two dimensions, and then uh, create a, uh, a protocol and export that protocol for the purposes of neurofeedback or to, uh, you can also export the tab to limited data if you want to do research. So I'm going to now bring up the neural link, which helps you create that linkage between the patient's symptoms and uh, the patient's brain and to get connected to a clinician. This is a new product on the left here. You'll see the uh, way to link symptoms to the brain. It's a neural navigator at the top. It's also on smartphones, Android and iPhone and multiple platforms such as Macintosh PCs, tablets, etc. And then you can click some of these hyperlinks to go to various things to help you get educated more, including the handbook of quantitative EEG and, and neurofeedback. The upper right here is a individual who has taken the uh, a self uh, a, a symptom severity examination and one of the multiple questionnaires we have inside of Neuralink. This is Neuralink Pro, but those same questionnaires are on smartphones. The smartphone can be downloaded for free, and then the individuals who have problems can get connected to a clinician who subscribes on this map here, and the patient can click the clinician's state, depending on where they're located, and find get contact information about email, telephone, address, uh, whatever the clinician wants to get linked to the patient, the patient linked to the symptom, I mean, to the clinician. Now, the, the patient will fill out the questionnaire on a variety of them on symptom severity. This will create a bar graph as well as other graphs that is then sent to the clinician. The clinician then launches NeuroGuide. The clinician then targets that network that's dysregulated and then uses neurofeedback as well as other methods if they wish, but certainly neurofeedback to reinforce a greater stability and efficiency in the hubs and networks of the brain linked to the patient's symptoms. Over here is a radar map that collapses towards zero as the patient's symptoms decrease in intensity. So this gives feedback to both the patient and the clinician as to the eff eff efficacy of the treatments. And the goal is to reduce the severity of the symptoms. This is an efficient way to do that. I'm just gonna start very quickly given an example of a, uh, an individual who can take a variety of different questionnaires from general surveys to autism, depression. Uh, we actually have one for the Department of Defense on suicide, but there's pain, Parkinson's, concussion, alexithymia, et cetera. And after taking the questionnaire uh, and, and you click on whatever network is most deviant, uh, let's say it's attention. If it's red, that means it's severe, moderate is yellow. and um, Green is mild and uh, low intensity of severity of the symptoms. You can remove the cortex, etc. You can learn a lot of information, and also there's a radar map there. So you can go through all of these various uh, networks and then uh, create a protocol to do neurofeedback, such as uh, shown here for a patient that um, we can actually start. Uh, doing neurofeedback after you put the, uh, the protocol in. And uh, in this, this is all a panel that comes up inside of NeuroGuide itself. And that way you can do the neurofeedback, move the display to the patient's computer. And there's many different kinds of displays one can use from DVDs to videos to sound to combinations, multimedia players, etc. So this is a quick overview of uh, 
of applied neuroscience and NeuroGuide and the various products we have, including Neuralink, that will be available at on various booths. And uh, I look forward to people visiting our booths for this virtual um, meeting with ISMR. So thank you for watching.